Good day, it's your boy King, MSP CEO. Anyways, I'm about to show y'all a little something. Um, this right here is how to make a hammond sound. It ain't gonna sound exactly like it. All right, so don't don't get all excited. All right, this right here is just a nice organ sound. Let me just say it like that. But it's gonna be Hammond style. Um, so I'm using right now FL Studio 11. It's right here 11. Um, you can do it in anything, honestly. But yeah. So first thing you want to do is understand what a Hammond is. I might be talking about that as I go, cause I, I forget a lot of stuff. Anyway, <laughs> what you want to look for All right here? Go to the find. You want to type in sign. S I N E. All right. What a sign is? That's a wave. If you know math, if you know anything. You know what I'm saying? Like you know what I'm talking about. Um, it's a square formula. So let's enter. And I already went to it. Um. You know what I'm saying? It's like a lot of different. I said again, you know what I'm saying? But so sign base is like one of them we're going to use. Honestly, anything in the DX10 self. Like I said, you can do with anything. It ain't got to be as long as it's a sign. As long as it's a nice, simple sign. So what I'm doing right now, you want to reshape the way. Modulation, these two are for modulation. We're taking them out completely. We don't need none of that. All right. So let me turn this up a little bit. Um, I can hear that sound. So, this is how it sounds right now. Release. Alright. Anyways, what you want to do with the release is bring it all the way down. You don't want nothing ringing at the end, period. Attack all the way down. You don't want it slightly, none of that. That's what it is. It's basically like a way to crescendo, gradually, or something like that. Anyway, all the way down. The K, same thing. You don't want that going down. Like that. All just boom, a nice little square. I eat, I eat, yeah. So, next thing you want to do, that's the hard part, by the way. Next thing you want to do, let, let's record something, see how it sounds. Uh, Alright, let's see. session now for real all right so all right that's all I'm, just a little something all right so I'm OCD about a lot of this stuff, but I will not quantize even though I'm itching to. I, I just want to make sure none of this ends because I'm going to have it running in the loop. So, you know, nothing go over the fifth ball, just four balls. All right, so let's hear what we got. Let's kill the record and this clip. So that's good so far. So what it sounds like now is a Hammond with nothing but the 16 or nothing but the 8 out. Right? And Leslie on stop. That's what it kind of sounds like. So what we do next? Well, now you got to understand why Hammond make the sound it made. I'm going to try to play this real quick so y'all know. So a Hammond is basically a layer of sine wave. So let's see you start with this one. Next. Next, next one, uh, next one, next one, next one, and that's that's your hand. So to lay all together. Right. So something like that. All right. Let's play it, and I'm gonna show you exactly what time. So matter of fact, right now let's let's uh select everything. So Control A, I just did. I don't, you know. What I'm um, if you click on anyone and hold it, it'll automatically duplicate. FL Studio good about making stuff easy. I ain't gonna lie. All right, so what we need to do now. All right, so let's try here. What we do on what? I'm actually undo it. 
because it ain't perfect. Actually, you know what? I'm doing this as I go. I ain't never did this before. So. I'm going to line that one all the way to the front so it's, it's always lined up. So now let's select everything. All right. So that's on C6. What you want to do is carry it to the next C6. Well, the next C. <laughs> C7. All right. So now you got that. Let's see how it sounds. So, sounding more like, okay, you're pulling out some more draw bars. Well, I ain't satisfied. Let's do it one more time. Well, it's going to be like a lot more times. <laughs> so, that's an octave. Now, we need to do a fifth. We can skip the fifth if we want. It's whatever sound we want. But I'm about to actually demonstrate like a full draw bar. If I can remember everything, the order right. Seem like I'm missing something. Actually, I was missing something. Um, so C, the fifth will be, what the fifth is, G? Yeah. <laughs> uh, where is it? Can't find G. Here you go. Yeah. So you just sit it right there. Let's see how it sounds. Alright, so right now, since I'm laying all this stuff at this volume, it's getting real loud. I know a limiter on here probably. Yeah, let me I'm gonna take this off and then I'm gonna bring this master down so it don't distort. Alright. So let's do this one more time. You wanna keep it selected, you wanna have an honest select or nothing like that, because now you're gonna, you know what I'm saying, you got to copy exactly what you did, so reselect it. Alright, so G, now I'm gonna go to another other C eight. So C eight gonna be my next move. Boom, leave it on C eight, see how it sound. <laughs> This time, right. so this right here is a major third. Why I went to so the first time, so let's, let's go back. First, you got a C, all right, and this just in the key of C. Well, it's C minor, kind of, I think. Is it? I think it might be, um, yeah. So E flat major, whatever, you know what I'm saying. So, what you want to do is start it on C. And that would be like the 16. All right. Eight. Go to the next C. That's the octave. The next thing you do is to the fifth. All right there. We're going right there. Wait, well, excuse me, right here. All right. And then we'll go back to the next C. And then you do the third, the fifth, and then the next octave. So the third will be this E. The fifth will be this G. And I ain't even did the, that fifth yet. So. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, Alright, that's that G. And then one more on the C9. And that should be a full draw ball. Oh, wait, what's going on? Can I not go up any higher? Hmm, I actually don't even know. Oh, you know what? Let me see something. Oh, yeah. It's way, yeah, that's as high as it go. Um, This is what I'm going to do. All right, in this event, this is this is what I would do. If you're actually playing the Hammond organ, when you start to go too high, it starts to basically just repeat the last octave over and over again, the higher you get. So if you pull out the one, it'll just start repeating the highest, you know, because it's too high. So I need to sit this. Right now it's on B. I need to take out one more. So I just need to honestly kill this top note. What you would want to do is bring the top note and octave down, but I'm going to just kill it all together. All right. So what I'm gonna do is drag this all the way over here, all right? And I'm gonna unselect, 
and kill them top notes. All right. Now I'm select everything again over here. All I did is hold control down while I drag that, and let's drag it back over. And now we can sit it on C9. Let's see how it sounds. Oop, wait. I select that. just running this issue it's, it's apparently too much processing at one time it ain't even playing all the notes so mm. so what I'm gonna do is just kill the last few when we did because I'm already satisfied all right I'm actually gonna I don't need all that so basically, you 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 heard the sound, you know what I'm saying? You get like that full draw ball sound. Um, all I need though, I'm gonna do a little jazz organ. All right. So let's try hit one. I'm gonna put. All right. So now I got a lay of three going on. That'll be the sixteen, the eight, and the. Five and something. I don't know. It's that fifth. You know what I'm saying? Like if you like look up draw balls on the hand, and you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so what I want to do now, I got the first three, and I want to pull out that one inch. So I'm gonna just shoot this way up to that C. <laughs> Can't get up to the C nine again. Same thing. Uh, see how that sound. <laughs> All right, so that's how that sound. Now on to how we're gonna get the Leslie effect. <laughs> now we ain't gonna get the Leslie effect. Like I say, it's just right here. It's just for. So you want to get just a organ sound, basically. Um, I said they are, they are plugins, but this is if you ain't dealing with nothing. All right, like I, I got some, <laughs> but all right. So right now it's going to channel one. You can see that. So the effect you want to put on, let's say chorus. So we're gonna put a nice chorus effect on it. All right. What you want to do here is delay. You don't need that. You don't need nothing delaying in the chorus. Depths. You want it like. It don't even need to be that deep. So, mm -hmm, just like that. I always put it on 180. It's just like you got a mic on each side of the Leslie. All right. Kill that frequency. Kill that frequency. This is basically mixing three different frequencies together to get a nice wet sound. Wet only. I want yeah. All right. You can do no. Like I say, it's your sound, you the producer, you can do what you want. It's your world. <laughs> Try to hit my world. So, let's see how it sounds. I'm going to link this to a controller on my keyboard. So you just hit link controller. All you do is click right there and say link controller and you move around whatever the mid, you know what I'm saying, whatever it is that you want to control it. Like you just turn the knob or move the joystick, whatever it is, it's going to detect it. So click that, move it around, boom, it automatically detects it. So I got to try it. So uh, first four knobs, I'm actually assign all three of these to a controller. So click that, boom, got that one on. Do this one. Like the controller. I got that. Alright, let's go.
that's it. Uh, this has been your boy Kane Q, MSP, and I think this is the first one I ever did. Matter of fact, my first tutorial. Hey, y'all applaud me, please. <laughs> Anyways, need assistance with anything involving some of this stuff? Uh, yeah, hit me up.